We're going to combine two uh, questions in one time. Okay. See if we can handle that. Uh, the first question is best relationship building practices with CDs and directors prior to obtaining representation. Okay, right. so how do you get to know a casting director or a director right. without having an agent? Okay. And then the second question, is there a way to, I can get auditions without an agent? Okay. So the best way to get to a CD, it, it really the most effective way with consistency is to be represented. Indeed. Right? Indeed. Uh, There's yes, the absolutely. And certainly some casting companies do put out casting notices yeah. and there are, you know, short films and student films and things that have, you know, casting calls, et cetera, that absolutely purposefully dive into the unrepresented market. So absolutely. that's great. But it's interesting. The first question is talking about the relationship. And I think it's like anything. You start a relationship with anyone, a new friend, a boss, the person, you know, at the supermarket that you see. I mean, you just you just have to be two humans first. And um, you have to trust that your paths will cross. If there is a circumstance that draws you both to it, you have to trust that it will cross and then it's a human interaction. If you know one person's intent is to use the other person in any way to get somewhere in their career, that is smelled out immediately. Yeah. If I want to be friends with someone because I want them to pay for a movie I'm producing and I know they have deep pockets, it's obvious in two seconds. The motivation. Yeah, the motivation. Yeah. It's just off-putting. I think getting auditions without an agent is not hinging upon relationships with casting directors. It's hinging upon the resources you know that are there of people seeking and open to hiring people without an agent. Yeah. Okay. And I think really well, the world of independence has really given an open, wide range of, of uh, Yeah, I've had directors of independent films that I, that I cast that have either attached or saw a play and they're like, oh, I love so-and-so for X role or Y. So work begets work always. So whether you are in a play, an improv show, you know, at a dinner party having, you know, saying hello to people or whatnot. It's your, it's your work, your work ethic, the quality of your work, and then the quality of your humanity. And it's just a people business that, to me, that's Absolutely. really what it is. Yeah, it's, it's, that, don't it's a combination of, of doing your good research in your area and, uh, and uh, certainly uh, networking. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the great things about working in a studio like Drama Inc. here, it is an artistic home, mm -hmm. and therefore you're going to meet actors who are working doing the same thing, and good actors talk to each other. So you, you're networking, but you're also finding out what your resources are. There's always in any good uh, city some sense of where you know you can go to see where auditions are posted. And you really mm -hmm. just need to keep up on all those resources to allow it to happen. That's more advice for a beginning actor, I yes. think, than somebody who's been in the trade. I think so. Thank you, Richard. Thank you.